Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to configure your company records in HubSpot to give you a 360 degree view of your accounts from a customer success perspective. And we're going to do that in a few steps. The first of which is going to be configuring nine properties that we'll use to store specific customer success information for the company record, but also aggregate some of the most important information, which is going to be captured in other records like deals, tickets, or contacts into one place to give that 360 degree view of an account. So if I go to our company settings and then to manage company properties, you'll see if I go to groups that we created a group for customer success. If I view all the properties in that group, you'll see that we have our CSM. So who is responsible for this account from a customer success perspective? That's going to be a HubSpot user. What is the customer segment, the defined group that this customer fits into? So that might be enterprise, it might be SMB, maybe you have other ways of segmenting your customers. That's going to be a drop down select. We're going to include health score here, which is going to be a drop down select as well, where we're going to use an emoji to categorize the health score. We will calculate health score in a later lesson, but for now, that's just the categorization of that health score. We have the next QBR date which will be a date picker field. We have the renewal amount for this account, which will be a formatted number field for the currency. And then we have the renewal date, which will also be a date picker field. We also have a couple of other values, which if I go back to the company record, you'll see we have the onboarding CSM and the onboarding plan URL, along with the onboarding status, which are gonna be fields that are gonna come from the deal or ticket where we're managing our onboarding. We'll again cover that in a later lesson. But once we have these fields set up, the next thing that we want to do is make them really easy to find and access for everybody who is looking at a company record. To do that, I'm going to go back to our company settings, record customization, and then customize the left sidebar. And over here, you'll see that we have all these different sections in the sidebar that we can edit. So here I've created one for customer success. If I go in and edit this, open customer success, you'll see the fields that we are showing in our customer success section in that left sidebar. And then we also have a saved section here for onboarding as well. So if I go back to our company record, we've covered this left sidebar, which is gonna include high level information about the customer and what has happened during their onboarding, which is of course a critical moment in getting them up and running and successful. The next thing to talk about is over here in the right sidebar, we have all the associated records for this company. One of the great things about using HubSpot for customer success is you should have all of your data across the entire customer journey in HubSpot. So everything from the contacts that are associated with this company, whether they are marketing contacts, sales contacts, or they were introduced later because they're users of the product and will be involved in an ongoing customer success motion, along with any commercial activity that is related to this account. So any deals, whether that be the original sales deal, whether that is a renewal deal that we're working on, whether that's expansion, whatever that might be, any commercial activity can be associated with this account record in a deal. And then finally, we have tickets. Tickets are a great way to log support tickets, but also to manage critical lifecycle moments like onboarding or anything that is an important moment in the journey, but is not commercial. So onboarding would be a big one there. If you have QBRs and you have a pipeline, a process you're running for QBRs, that could also be a good use of tickets. We aren't really using too much below this at this point, but we can get into that later as well. The final thing to mention to really complete the view of your customer is HubSpot by default will track everything that is happening with a customer, whether that's emails, calls, notes, meetings, tasks, is going to be all listed in this central activity feed. One thing that can become really difficult and a little time consuming as you have more engagement, there's more going on with this account, is getting a high level picture and giving everybody a good overview of what is happening with an account. So we like to pin this note to every account, which will answer three questions. What do they do? What are their main goals? And is there any extra context or any extra notes from previous calls that we might need to know? The best way that I found to do this is to actually use a saved snippet to create that note. So if I go to snippets, you can see we have this customer account overview note, and we're just gonna include the three questions right inside of that snippet. When I first start working with a company, one of the first things that I might want to do is add that pin note. So we have a shared space to add context. So now I can go to create note, I can just start typing hashtag account overview and that will pop right up. It'll fill in the structure for this note that I'm going to use. I can fill that in, I can save the note 
And then if I go back to the note, actions, and pin, it will now stay at the top, whatever additional information is added for this account. You can do this at any point, whether you have activity or not, and pinning it will always put it at the top. So that is a really quick overview of how to set up a company record to give you a 360 degree overview of your accounts. And we will get into how do you populate the data in those properties? How do you set up the associations? And what are you going to do with those associated objects like deals or tickets in later lessons? But next up, we have how to use this data in your new company records to create filtered views that will help you prioritize your work and give the customers who need it attention first. Hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.